Hey y'all, Brown Punch here. Um, just out here getting a little workout in and doing some ISO holds with my advanced benders helper. Oh my god, man, this thing is beast. Oh, and shout out to Martin Cote. Uh, Cote, right? Uh, he's a steel bender. Dude's like bent the gold nail and and like that, and he's uh, he's prepping to do it under uh, Iron Mind rules. That's pretty badass. Um, my main focus here today is I am gonna try to do the the one-handed lift on the. Uh, no, let's go grab a tape measure real quick. I'll be right back. Two and three eighths outside diameter. So here I have 200 pounds, 25 pound plates. Two, four, six, eight of them. So I'm going to try 200 pound, and I'm weighing in at 175 right now. I've, I've lost some muscle mass because of just working on the house and like that. I duct taped because that will baffle the edge like uh, and when I say baffle not like baffles in a silencer but it'll baffle the edge's ability to uh, just cut that rope so easily so 200 pound I'm gonna give her a shot here the most I've done was the 150 you saw that last time I'm gonna use a little bit of chalk I've never used chalk on this before, but I'm going to try it. Never used it before. Like, I've been doing this for a long time. This is only my third time messing around with this. So, how y'all doing? Y'all hanging in? You surviving the new year so far? Give me a second. I want to lock that. I want to lock that sucker out. <sighs> wants to wants to kind of turn on you. Not quite. Alright. Let's try 175. You see how I'm doing this? Just a simple little piece of steel bar, the rope turned back on itself to create you a sort of a little loop.
Went right through that duct tape. I'm gonna have to get uh, a little better system, maybe another bar going through and then have it tied around the smaller bar so then I've got nothing to cut, cut the rope. Alright, got 175 with the left. So 175 is doable. 200 is just a little bit over what I can do. That's a 2 and 3 eighths inch diameter piece of fence post. Well, grip's giving out on that right. So, Managed to do that much anyway. I've been messing with my baby inch and it's the 50 pounds for uh, doing a, a single movement reverse curl overhead press, strict press with uh, 50 pounds and doing a little bit of steel bending. I'm going to try. Uh, Try bending some other stuff and, and like that. I haven't done much bending, waiting for my hands to heal up, and they're mostly healed. I've got like almost no callus left after that nail bending session. So I'm gonna get back to it, you guys. Just wanted to give that a shot and bring you along. And you know, if I could do the 200, I wanted definitely one on video. But I can see, you know, that that I have a lot of failures around, along the way, but any any success that I have in, in body. Uh, you know, physical culture and, and strength building, uh, any successes I have are, are built upon failures. That's just the way of it, you know. So, remember that, alright? Embrace your failures because there's a stairway to success. So, live free and punch hard and be good to yourselves because you're worth it. And damn it, I dig you, alright? And I'll catch you later. Bye.